when I was a student, I found that some of the difficulties in the different Zen centers were happening really because there wasn't a lot of compassion, a lot of connectivity. With the realization only of emptiness, of the nothingness that is at the source, it gave a kind of freedom where these teachers, if you would point out something to them, you know, hey, the way you interacted with so-and-so really seemed off the mark to me, then they would say something like, well, it's all empty, so it doesn't matter. And my response was, well, if you're standing on my toes, it matters to me a lot. Yeah. How about if I punch you in the nose? It's all empty. It won't matter, right? <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I, I, I don't think that would have been too welcome. As Westerners, we really need a lot of heart practice. We're walking around, most of us, fairly wounded with a lot of armoring. And to try to uh, drop the sense of self to experience the source, the absolute, requires a lot of trust. And unless our heart is in a, a stable enough place, an open enough place with strength and sensitivity, the awakening is going to be difficult for it to happen, and it's going to be difficult to embody. You know, and, and what I tell those students is your outside has to match your inside. And that's what you watch for is incongruities, what doesn't match anymore. And you have to make adjustments in your life to fit your realization, to have it be expressed more fully. So it's an ongoing journey. And I had one person on a group call who said, I, I am doubting you as a teacher. So I said, well, let's unpack that. You know, do you believe I've, I've had these experiences? Well, yeah, I do. Do you believe I, I understand what I'm teaching? Well, yeah, I do. So, so where's the rub? We got down to, there was a transference going on. They were projecting their doubt onto me. But the fact is I was willing to work it with them and it's fine if they have doubt about me. That's, you know, that's maybe part of their process. And I, I tell my students the opposite. I, I tell them I'm a work in progress. Um, I, I view that there's no end to realization and there's no end to unconscious material. I keep working both. But that becomes the job after realization is we have to start watching our behavior, our thoughts, and seeing what we're actually doing. And that's where we can see where we're, we're not walking our talk in certain places.